Dioramas have been an artwork for a long time. They were very popular in Victorian times, depicting scenes outside and in. We're going to make a diorama to go with the theme from this term. So it could be ancient Egypt, a British seaside, or ancient Greece. Year one made jungle dioramas last year when they were in, in school. To start with, you're going to want to make buildings. So, you might want to make a tower. So start off by drawing around a circle. It could be a cup or a can. Then take a piece of paper and draw the walls of your tower. So I'm making a lighthouse for the seaside and I'm drawing on the walls, the windows and the doors. Once you've done that, then you're going to attach your circle, which you've cut out flaps on, to the top of the piece of paper and then put glue along the edges of the piece of paper as well to attach the sides. This is a bit fiddly, so you might want to get an adult to help you. Your other option is to use a toilet roll or a kitchen roll. To make an African hut, you're going to want a much bigger circle, so you could use a plate or you could use your compass to make the circle. Cut that out. Remember to colour it in before you do any sticking. So I'm going to give it a straw top and then once you're ready to cut, you cut from the outside edge to the centre, just one line from the outside edge to the centre and then you can fold the paper over itself and stick it in a cone. Then you're going to put slits along the top of the wall, put glue on along those and then that's easy to stick into your roof of your African hut. To make rectangular buildings, you're going to do make a net. So decide how big you want your box to be and measure one of those sides onto the paper. So mine I think was four centimetres by eight centimetres. Now you want four of those rectangles all along next to each other. So measure those out, making sure that you keep really good right angles in all the corners. And then you're going to want your ends of the rectangle, <clears throat> which will just, for me, would have been four centimetres by four centimetres in the ends. Now, it's really important with these that you have flaps. It's better to have too many flaps than not enough flaps, because you can always cut them off later on. You have holes if you don't have the flap there. So around the edge, work out where each end is going to attach and put on a flap and then cut it out really carefully. It does need to be quite accurate, otherwise it doesn't fit together properly. Before you stick it together, do your drawing. So this um, cuboid is going to be a, a mosque. So I'm drawing on my windows and then above that, I'm going to do my geometric design. So even though it's small, I'm taking great care to make it as realistic as possible so I'm having a I had a look on online to see what sort of patterns the mosques would have had and then once you've done that you're going to stick put glue on all the flaps ah oh, sorry first of all fold it really really sharp folds you want all the flaps and all the corners sorry all the edges and then you can fit it together let it dry before you try and do too much with it There we go. If you're doing ancient Egypt, then you're going to want to do a pyramid. So in many ways that's, ways that's easier than the rectangle, the cuboid, um, to so draw a square, however big you want the base to be, and then mark out the center of each line, and then mark up where you're going to want the top of the triangle to be. Draw your triangle on, and then you're going to want a flap on every other triangular side. Again, better to have too many flaps than too few because you can chop them off if you realise you've put it in the wrong place. 
and then cut that out carefully. Draw on your design. If you're going to colour it in the sand colour, then do that or paint it. Do that before you try to fold it up. And again, really sharp folds to make sure that it all fits together nicely. And then this one goes quite easily together once you put the glue on. Slide it all in together and it will work really nicely. Pritt stick is the best glue for this because it's not too wet. That should all slot in. So then you get your cardboard box and you fill it with your items. So I've tried to put a bit of everything in to um, my diorama just to help you out. So I've got, at the beginning, I've got my African house and then I've used my elephant that I made with salt dough last week. And the same, I've used my scarab beetle in front of my pyramids. I've got a mosque and I've got some yurts with the camels and the nomadic tribesmen. Moving along, then we come to uh, an ancient Greek temple with a fallen over colonnade. And for the Caribbean, there's a diver and a turtle, and they're actually floating in the air, they're on string. And then lastly, the lighthouse looking over the British seaside. To make it 4D, Mrs Dunsford and I thought we'd put some cinnamon in there so it smells as well. There we are, you've got a 3D model of your theme. Have fun!